whether you're a big believer in good or bad, it's good to have amnesia. You just totally forget about what happened. How do, but with that in mind, how do you keep from listening to and paying too much attention to all the noise surrounding that great victory Uh We have a 24-hour rule um, with, uh, with the team where uh, whether it's a win or loss, we um, come into meetings and within 24 hours we review the film, uh, we assess what needs to be assessed and we move on from it, uh, whether it be a great win or a tough loss, um, we move on and I think this team had a, um, came out a little bit slower yesterday but we had a great practice today, I thought we stepped up and um, I think we're ready to take the next step. What's the, in your opinion, the, the best quality about this team? Because when you look back over, let's say last year, when you lost probably six or seven, something like that, you're down the first half. First, what's the, the the quality that you see in this team that makes it resilient the way that it is? Um, I thought you could. I think you could tell it from the loss. But we um, there was a very aggressive effort to break the ship that kind of was during uh, off a little bit, and uh, we have some incredible leaders on the team uh, that really made a, a conscious decision early in January that this year is just going to be different. And um, I think uh, it didn't go right at first, but we're breaking in a lot um, with regards to new offense, uh, um, and just new schemes and some new coaches and, and a little bit of a breaking period. Um, but we, we turned it around and uh, hopefully this next, uh, this next game we can just basically play fifth quarter of uh, what we were at last week and just keep, uh, keep going from uh, where we left off. Because of the obvious incredible coming from behind win, how hard was it for Josh to adhere to that 24-hour rule? Sure, your phone was blowing up, and every sports outlet in the country was talking about it. Um, it's, it's not that hard um, if you just make a decision to do it. I just went back on my own and um, went through all the text messages and thank you and call my parents and we talked about it. And, uh, Coach Fish is a very uh, unique way of humbling you. Uh, so I uh, got in the film room, addressed the community address. It was a very black uh, first two and a half years. Um, but there were definitely big plays off the bat that we could have gotten off to the right foot and had an entirely different game. Um, I mean, we saw a lot from our team, but ideally we don't have to dig that deep uh, very often. Last year when AM won in overtime, they went on to start 6-0. You guys have this dramatic comeback. Do you sense that, man, this is to tell us? Um, yeah. I mean, Texas and M is a very, very, very solid football team. I think people are, are uh, uh, going to underestimate them. Um, I think they hit really hard, they're really fast, and um, they're very technically sound. Um, I think they're going to do incredibly well this season for some done an incredible job with you guys. Uh, it's we just we just got momentum going. We just kind of had a really really hot quarter and a half. Um, I mean I think we could have played a lot better off the bat, but they're an incredible team, and um, I think we're gonna do very well this year. We're in the for them. You, you talked about breaking into new things and pitch pitch process, or whatever. Can you kind of take us inside what that film was like and expand on what his progression process is? Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, a lot of it is is X's and O's and just um, sometimes uh, uh, you just you miss miss some pretty easy things on the whiteboard that might be a little bit more complicated on the field as real bullets are flying sometimes you kind of really test how well you know an offense uh, I mean no matter how loud you turn the music on or, or uh, on the practice field or no matter how much pressure Coach Moore tries to simulate you're never going to get what you do in a game um, and I think a lot of it wasn't as much breaking in the, the X and O side of it. That was, that was um, we did that uh, after the game. There's some things in the first half, but a lot of it was just sort of uh, just taking everything from the practice field and converting on and converting onto the game field. How much does your your guys' comfort level together change going from, from the game one to game two? Really good. I mean, we know uh, we uh, we know what we can do, so we have uh, we have something to uh, strive for. And um, even if we fall just below that five touchdowns in a quarter, then I think I'll be pretty happy with, with uh, that and uh, anything upon those lines moving forwards. In what ways has uh, Caleb improved since last year? Uh, I mean, he got bigger, he gained some weight, uh, so he, um, can, he can block a lot better now. So he's a threat 
with that regard. You're not just lining him up to run routes solely. Uh, he's got an incredible feel for the game. Uh, one of the most deceptive players I've ever seen before in just how he gets open. Because um, sometimes you really have no idea how he does it. He's just, he's got a great feel. He's a basketball player. Um, he kind of, he, he wiggles around a little bit and uh, can just feel windows, his great hands, uh, quick hands. He can snatch it and pull it right back into his body. Uh, I mean, he's just gotten better in pretty much every facet. He's, he's a lot more focused this year. Uh, we were giving him a big, a big role, and I think he's welcoming with open arms. A lot of times, a lot of times, teams and you know, people will, will point to a specific, a specific play or a series which would turn around the whole thing. On the touchdown pass, it went right through the defender's hand. Was that when you said, "Oh yeah, here we go. We, we, we can get this"? One. Um. I don't know. I just, just kind of just playing football. I, I mean, I've sort of reminisced about that whole thing. I'm a 24 hour role and kind of move, move past that at the moment. But I mean, it was a, it's a great game and hopefully I can kind of find that zone again and not wait until the fourth quarter to find it. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you.